Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Real quick update, I was uh, going to provide you guys about the Hepcoin Becker SIBO mounts um, with the hard cases on the S1000RR. I haven't seen a video out there to uh, mount or install these, so what I'll be doing is I'll be making that video. And for all of those who want to um, daily your s 1000 R, this would be a very helpful guide. Um, whether this or SW Motec, um, I personally like the Hepcoin Becker just because it's more sturdy, I guess. Uh, I've seen a couple of um, explorers out there with the SW Motec, even though I, th I think SW Motec makes uh, official BMW um, systems. But I, I think uh, the Hepcoin Becker is, if not equally or, or better, actually, than the SW Motec. So stay tuned, and I'll be showing you how to install these brackets and stuff. Thank you. All right, so <clears throat> here are the instructions. Three-page instructions, pretty detailed. So I have the 4mm, 6mm, um and i do have extensions as well as a wrench and there you go these are the tools that i'm gonna going to be using uh these are the set of bolts that i received with the SIBO mount and the brackets for the installation that's how the mount is going to look uh the uh, first I will be, I won't be tightening all everything, you know, it's going to be a loose fit initially until I put the bags on and then tighten it up. So there you have instruction in English and in German, I believe, Dutch. Uh, it says Dutch and Great, Great Britain. So you have your English instructions. Assembly is pretty straightforward. You need uh, two of these, I think, I believe there's a six millimeter. And then you have M8, so six millimeter. And then you have uh, four washers. Put them over here. That These are, this is where these are going to be mounted. This is basically the passenger peg setting. Uh, that's where these going to, this bracket is going to be mounted. This part of the bracket is under the tail tidy system or the tail, the existing stock tail where I have. So it's going to be right here. I know you guys watch my TST Industries uh, tail tidy system. You guys love it. But that's where these um, bolts are going to be for the uh, bags. That's where the bracket is going to be. So I'm going to just keep it hanging over here. Uh, I don't think so I can put the tail tidy system uh, anymore as you can notice in the uh, the image over here <clears throat> uh, there's going to be a visibility issue for the uh, riders behind me or traffic behind me uh, clearly so that's why I reverted back to the stock configuration um, for the SIBO mounts so they're going to be four two on each side of the SIBO mount so that's where the setting is. And uh, without further ado, let's get started. All right, with the uh, very last difficulty, I was able to mount the rear piece. It's not snug, but it's snug enough, hand tight enough to, uh, you know, keep the uh, tail tidy. Well, not the tail tidy, the stock tail in place. Yeah, at first I, I kind of looked at it and, and it's at an angle. And I was thinking maybe... Okay, there's something wrong, but uh, that's how it is. And I tried and looked at, you know, mocking this whole stuff over here. So this is how it's going to be in place. Now, this is the piece that goes right here where the passenger foot pegs were. And now I have the tucked in uh, license plate holder. So I'll make a video um, after the installation. There you go. So this was very simple. Just took the six millimeter S2 and mounted it right here. Now, you see this wiggle? I did not tighten everything. 
Reason being because when I put the SIBO and I test my first bag, if there is some misalignment, um, left versus right side or just mounting issues, I just want to make sure that, you know, these could be adjusted right here at this point, uh, prior to me taking out everything. So stay tuned for more. I'm going to next put the SIBO mount and put the first bag. All right, so I just put in one bolt over here, one on the other side just to check and you see it's a little wiggly and I'll adjust it final uh, towards the end. Let's take out this bag. It's a nice bag. Hard cases, um, Hepcon Becker. Yeah, pretty sturdy with the lock so let's try it on so you see the clearance is here lock okay yep it's secure and you can see that the, the stock tail has enough like maybe two to three millimeters of clearance um, and if you notice that from this angle, you can't see the TST tail, uh, TST tail tidy system. If it was there, it's kind of hard to see, especially from the sides. Like if somebody, if you're making a left turn and this bag is over here, it's kind of blocking the view. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend stock setup. And in the diagram itself, you know, the pictures itself, it shows stock setup. So let's open up this bag. I've never opened it up before. Let's see. All right, so what is this? I guess I have to take it off first. Wow, the quality of these bags is amazing. You can put a small laptop, um, iPad, any chargers, any, um, basically any stuff that you require on the go. All right, so it's opened up. <clears throat> there is some uh, water or drain plugs, kind of like that. And this uh, instruction manual, I'll just put it on the side. So it says three kgs maximum load max speed 130 kilometers an hour um not happening not happening um but yes it's pretty sturdy you know with the lock it's airtight and it can hold it doesn't have a liner which i don't mind you know um i can spray on something over here but liner would be nice for for items that are sharp like edgy but you can notice over here the gasket it's very nicely constructed it's very durable all right let's uh, get go ahead and uh, mount on the other side all right so finally both uh, the bags are on if you see it's a uh, very snug fitting uh, it comes with these bags come with two set of keys like I said, the maximum load is um, written inside of it. It's three k k kilograms and a maximum speed of 130 kilometers an hour, which of course is not happening. Um, but it's it's sturdy right there. It's very sturdy. Um, in the future, what, what am I thinking? Maybe Hakanam Silver bags, I don't know. Or just keep them as is uh, it kind of gives a rugged look but look this bike has heated grips cruise control it is a sports bike but at the same time you can take your luggage with you so why not um, and of course the uh, Ducati is pure race race bike so uh, no modification of such extent like putting luggage on it uh, all right guys i hope you like the video you like the content 
if you have any questions about the SIBO mounts, uh, HEPCO and Becker system, um, write in the comments, let me know. I can message you guys. Uh, I purchased these through Accessories International. Uh, decent guys to work with. Uh, this is not paid and sponsored by them, but uh, any anyone who knows how to do business who's polite and who has the temperament, I definitely promote them just, just because they're good people to work with. Um, so yes, this is uh, the new update for the daily S1000RR. And that should be 